Welcome back. I sound dead, and that's because I am, but I also just passed my exams. So let's celebrate with a bit of a discount. If you are looking to buy anything, make sure to use a discount link. I'm not telling you to use mine, but of course it would be very much appreciated. If you want to get it, just buy anything through my link or any other YouTuber's link and you'll get the decal that you have selected. Now, if you want to find it, it's under special. You go to the logo types and over here you will find the one that you purchased. I'm going to keep this brief i say this very often and then it ends up being an hour long but i've already made a video on all the premiums the talismans and the ge premiums in general and not much has changed since then so today i want to kind of quickly address all the things that are worth it i'm gonna start off with the things that are good for silver lions and then we start looking at some packs that I want to kind of mention because I have a feeling that next week the packs will go on sale. I cannot guarantee this however, but mostly when GE premiums go on sale, a week later the pack premiums go on sale as well. If you want a more of an in-depth kind of look at it, where I go to literally every vehicle in the line and then address all of them individually, whether they are good or bad, I have a video for that in the description. But without further ado, let's look at... Just silver line to start out with. What are good pickups? First of all, XP50, rank 3, pretty damn good multiplier, air spawn, very good flight performance. Altogether, this thing is an absolute clubber and doesn't deserve to be 4.0. So you have a 4.0 plane, relatively low BR. It is under BR and the reward is pretty good. So absolute no-brainer. It's also dirt cheap on top of it. Even without a sale, this thing is pretty much worth it all the time. Then all these other ones are really not that great for SL grinding, at least not comparatively. You have this thing, for example, air spam, a lot of guns. You can just brute force your way into the enemy team if you want to play it with your brain absolute well, you have zero brain activity, gameplay, just want to slam your head into the wall, get some free silver lines. It's pretty good for that, but the performance at 5.0 is, yeah, it's not very great. It just has a lot of guns. It's very good at being aggressive at the start. The longer the game progresses, the worse it becomes. And then these other planes are not really GE premiums. If you want to buy a pack vehicle here, get the F5C, but more on that in a little bit. If you want to fly a low rank one, we have the Yak 1B here for Germany. There's going to be better ones coming up, but for now the Yak 1B for the German line here at low rank is pretty all right. Just keep in mind that the multiplier is not that great and the XP50 is still going to be a better bet. All of these are really not that fantastic. This thing is 4.0 now, that's kind of wild. Uh, these are all kind of mid. This thing is well, look at the reward. It's simply not that fantastic. That's not actually a GE vehicle. This thing is pretty okay, but look again at the multiplier. It's simply not that great. And then you arrive at the Junker 288. Absolute no-brainer. Probably the best premium you will find for Germany altogether in rank 4. Pretty consistent. You will reach bases even in an up tier against Jets most of the time. Uh, you'll reach the base before they will reach you. It's very consistent. Your win rate will be absolute dog shit. But hey... Consistent RP and you don't actually have to play the game at the same time. And then these other vehicles are not GE, so I don't really have to look at it for now. If you want to buy anything there, we will get there in due time. These planes are all not that fantastic. If you really want to buy anything here, don't bother. Go to rank 3 and you will find yourself this thing that you cannot buy right now. So all of these really not that fantastic, but then we reach the Yak 3 VK 107. This is a great plane when it comes to grinding, when it comes to well, researching the entire tree as well. And the same goes for the D9 right there. The issue is that you have the Yak 3 U, which is simply better than the VK 107 in about 95% of the relevant gameplay scenarios. So yes, this is better, but if you have nothing in Russia or you just want to fly a yak tree that is absolutely bonkers and you want to make fat bank while doing it then this is going to be a better pick than the yak tree u but keep in mind that the yak tree u as a plane is better su11 absolute no-brainer buy it i need i don't need to go buy it i don't need to go over this every time su11 when it comes to jets is probably the best ge plane that you can buy when it comes to both research as well as silver lines why is that 690 percent it's not the highest but the performance of this thing is absolutely stupid even at 7.3 again absolute no-brainer and then these other ones again are really not that relevant now we reach britain and we have the corsair which is okay but if you want to get a sell there's another corsair that's just much better and this performance here 
is kind of shitty when it comes to the reward multiplier because it's only 330%. Then these other planes are really not that fantastic. You can skip basically all of these. The Mustang Mark 1A is okay. It's not the best flight performance, but the SL multiplier here is pretty good. Hornet is pretty damn good, but keep in mind, 6v6 mult, um, 6v6 matchmaker against a lot of bombers. It's going to be extremely boring and extremely barren. So keep that in mind. Uh, if the Wyvern goes on sale next week, yeah, get it. It's kind of stupid. Multiplier isn't the highest, but 4.0. It goes 650 kilometers an hour on the deck. Yeah, do I need to explain anything else? I don't think so either. These two are really not that great. The Sea Vixen, pretty good. Extremely mind-numbing to play. You don't have a gun. You just have to position yourself behind people. Shoot on unsuspecting preys and they will simply explode. But yeah, more of that a little bit later. Harrier, no. Lightning, also just no. We reach Japan, which has quite a few very good ones. We have the Key 44. We have the Key 44. Performance here is extremely good, but the SL multiplier isn't. And that's why you go over to the Corsair and the 109E7. These two planes are absolutely stupid at 3.0. Absolutely worth the pickup, especially when it comes to the multipliers. And these are probably going to be your best bet when it comes to the low tier clubbing while making a sell. Yes, I am advocating for low tier clubbing if you want to make a sell. You're not going to die a lot and when you do, it's going to cost you like 7000 GSL. And you're going to make more with a single kill. So if you go like one to one, you'll make about a double of what you lose. Very good. If I had to pick any of these, this one is more fun. This one is more bring that. Uh, it's going to require you to fly with a lot more patience and a lot more discipline. So if you want to play this thing like a role player, this is going to be better. If you just want to have some fun and just kind of turn fight with basically everyone you run into, the E7 is going to be the much better pick. p 1 c here, kind of same deal as with the F4U1A. The multiplier isn't great, but the performance is... It's very good. It's very, very good. Really nothing to say about it there. J2 M5, uh, M4, definitely not. J2 M5, pretty good. Keep in mind, trigger discipline and aim are going to be required. But the performance of this thing is pretty good. If you like the J2 M2, this thing is slightly worse. However, you get 30 millimeters and you get an absolute fat bank while playing it. Because it's just kind of stupid when it comes to the guns. The guns right now are kind of shitty. Keep that in mind, when I'm making this video, the guns are kind of shitty. So right now, as of making this video, it's not very great. The Type 5 cannons kind of got butchered. Key 87, this thing is absolutely not worth it whatsoever. And these two planes are also just not it. Nothing to say here. Maybe the Key 84, but we'll get to that in a second here. Really, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. I wouldn't really get any of these except for the Ariad. Keep in mind, you're going to have to be very vigilant, very aware, and you're going to have to play absolute balls off. But this thing is pretty damn good. You just have to be aware of all aspect missiles. If you are able to deal with that without flares, this thing is absolutely baller. Front, ask Glitch how much this thing is without the discount, but the Yak-3 here is an absolute no-brainer. And the rest here is basically a skip. And then we reach... Uh, Sweden, the Puro Musky here, not the best reward multiplier, but it's a very damn good plane and it's very fun to fly. The rest here, really not it, and really nothing here either. So now let's look at vehicles, together with premiums, maybe packs, and maybe talismans, when it comes to the American tech tree for starters. So I just did the video and it turned out to be an hour long again. So I'm going to actually speed run it now. I'm going to go through every nation. First, I'm going to give you my top three picks. And then I'll go through every deal and just look at some honorable mentions, basically. For America, because there is just too much stuff going on. If you only care about props, get the XP50. And you are going to be able to grind every prop in the game with very little effort. This thing is absolutely busted. Air spawn, good performance, decent guns, and a pretty good multiplier, and it's rank 3, so you are going to be able to resource basically every prop in the game. If you are looking for anything else, uh, I would say wait for the F5C, and you will be able to grind basically everything except for the last three vehicles. But then you can tell us when something like the F8E or the F5E, because these two right now are in a very good spot when it comes to the matchmaker. And then 
for rank 8, F14 and F16, you can't go wrong with either. This thing is definitely more meta right now. But this thing is still extremely powerful. So you really can't go wrong with either. If you really want to only buy one thing, the F4S is okay. But it's still a phantom. It does get, not Agile Eagle, but it gets better slats. It is pretty maneuverable. But this plane is not very enjoyable to play. Whereas the F8E and the F5E are actually pretty damn alright. Now let's look at all the TLC. Rank 1 and Rank 2. I mean it's Rank 1 and 1, one 2. Just get the XP50. It's going to be cheaper than most of these talismans as well. And if you want a talisman anything in Rank 3. P51C. P47D28. If you want to get anything else here. It's a little bit of an L. If you really want to get anything. The F4U4 is pretty okay. Rank 4. Really nothing worth in the premium line here, except for the F2G, but it's not on sale. Or maybe the P51D10, but it's also not on sale. And it won't be, because it mostly doesn't go on sale with normal pack sales either. If you want to tell us about anything, the P38LO is pretty damn good. The P51H is good if you do not mind uh, the jet matchmaking. And these are pretty kind of crappy. D30 is alright. Uh, these other planes are really not that fantastic. The F81, it's... Kind of mind-numbing. It's pretty strict to fly. But at 5.0 this performance is, is quite alright. Keep in mind that the 50 cals are not that strong. And if you run the gun ports this thing turns into a little bit of a shit brick. I will make a video on this very soon here. However, it's not that fun to fly. I wouldn't really recommend it. If you want to get anything in rank 5, F80 or the F2H. The other planes here are okay, like the A5 and the F25, but I would say get the F2H or the F80. I can't actually believe that I'm recommending the F2H to literally anyone in this game. Then we reach rank 6, if you know how to deal with all aspect missiles, and you don't mind running into them here and there, the F104A is very good, as well as the F2. They're pretty fun to fly, not the best performance here anymore. It kind of, it fell, it's has fallen from grace, hasn't it? And if you really want to have some... Good consistent grinding. AV8C is good to talisman. And the F8U at 10.0 is pretty damn strong nowadays as well. And again, F5C is probably your best bet when it comes to a premium pack if it does go on sale. The tram is a little bit mind-numbing. It is pretty okay. If you really want to just go all out brain dead, A6E tram, pretty damn strong. But again, I would say get the F5C and then uh, talisman the F8E or the F5E. At least as long as the matchmaking stays as it is. Next up we have Germany. Rank 1. Eincol 100. E1. Again. Your speed of progress is going to be pretty, mad, pretty bad. If you want to get anything in Germany. I would say get the Junker 288. And you can get basically everything that is unique to the Russian or the German tree here. And if you really want to get anything you can tell us when the 15 bis. And you can very easily grind rank 6 uh, and rank 7 and 8. I don't think are worth it. Because there are better versions of these vehicles in say the Russian tree. Uh, this thing is like 1% better than the, the, the Russian one. But it's negligible. Neg I would say skip it. And if you really want to get these vehicles. Wait for the Lazur to go on sale. Because all of these planes are kind of annoying to deal with when it comes to consistent grinding. The 19S and the seal 13 b are pretty okay. But if you have to deal with all aspect missiles, it's just kind of damn annoying. I'm actually going to buy this thing because it's finally on sale. So, tier specific. E1, Heinkel 100. E4, F1, A1. Rest you can skip. These premiums are all mid. These premiums are all mid. F4, non-trop, very good. A4 is okay if you want to fly on 190 in here. And the rest here is all kind of mid. Same goes with all of these. LA5, FN and the G2 are good. All, all right. Issue is they won't be on sale. And here we go with the absolute goat of the German tech tree. It's going to be the Junker 288. And if you want to tell us about anything, we have the G6 here. Together with the D9. And the D13 if it does go on sale when the packs go live. This thing is kind of brain dead and funny to fly, but don't expect much consistent results. Because, well, all you have is guns, and if people don't fly into them, well, you're going to have an issue. And guess what? Your team is going to be completely consistent out of bombers. Tell us about anything in the rank 5. You have the MiG-15 BIS. And all of these other planes are kind of mid. Horton 229 is good when it comes to 1v1s, and that's where its strengths end. And anything with MK-108s. 
the ballistic changes have absolutely shafted the guns. And while the B0 is simply too high over BR. Limp 5P is still very good. But keep in mind all aspect missiles do exist in the form of the A10. That is at 10.0. And when the sales come out expect them to arrive very soon here. The issue is or the issue not really. You can't deal with the all aspects. At least the Russian ones are going to be in your team with the SU-25. It's just kind of annoying to deal with. But it can be flown. CL-13 and the MiG-19S are going to be your best bet here. But again, keep in mind, if you get up tiered, you are going to struggle. Uh, if you get fully up tiered, that is. The second the all-aspect missiles are out of the, lab, out of the lobby, then these become very strong again. MiG-19S is absolutely criminal at 9.3. As long as you don't run into any all-aspects. And if you don't, you are absolute god mode. Rank 7 here. I mean, really nothing special going on. Another big MiG-21 bis. Another, you know, if you want to tell us about anything here, get the F4F nowadays at 10.7. A lot of down tiers. It's pretty good. So what you could do is, uh, I, I would say, just get this. I uh, Nothing to say here. It's really not worth going this low or this high into the tiers of Germany. Mainly because, well, they have planes that are better. Or they have the planes that are worse most of the time. Or basically exactly the same. The MLA is simply a worse MLD. And the MiG-29 for Germany is so... The change is so minor that it basically doesn't matter. We go to Russia. This is very easy. The MiG-23 ML, if it goes on sale. Fantastic plane. One of the best premiums or rank 7 premiums that you can buy in terms of flight performance. This is the same thing as the MLA. So it's an MLD without the slats. It turns slightly worse, but it will rate slightly better. Very good. And then we reach another plane. SU-11. This thing is good. It's extremely powerful. 7.3. Good multipliers. It has basically everything going for it. If you want to go for props only, get the Yak-3 VK-107. For a very simple reason. It's a Yak-3. It's a slightly worse Yak-3 U. However, this thing makes you absolute fat bank. Look at these multipliers. You're going to be absolutely fine for the majority of the game. If you really want to get all of these vehicles as well... The ML, you won't be going wrong with it. If you want to go ground pounding, the SU-25 is also pretty good. But you need the Talisman, one of these vehicles. And, I mean, it's basically cheaper at that point to just buy this thing. However, if you need the Talisman anything in rank 7, get the SMT at 10.3. Let's look at all the deals again. Basically, all of this is a no. Yak 1B is very strong, but it's only rank 2. It's not really worth it. Then we reach rank 3. Very much worth it is the Yak-3. And that's it. Absolute no-brainer. Get the Yak-3 in this over here. Uh, the Yak-9M is very good if you can pick it up. However, uh, it doesn't always go on sale. So I wouldn't count on it. Yak-3, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, the, sorry, the Yak-9M is basically Yak-1B. That's slightly better in terms of straight line speed, straight line retention. But it also turns a little bit worse. So it's a bit of a toss-up. We go to rank 4. Again, Yak-3, if you have nothing here. If you have one of these planes, Yak-3U, I-225, or the LA-7. These all play vastly differently. And I can't give you a quick rundown. But this is basically dogfight everything. This is be fast while being able to dogfight a lot of vehicles. And that is have an absolute bonkers engine. Be able to dogfight everything at low speed. And get your absolute shit rocked at high speed. Because it compresses like an absolute bitch. The I-225 is a very good plane. With a very unorthodox playstyle. It's kind of annoying to deal with. Once you get the hang of it. This thing becomes extremely powerful. D9 is also. It's a pretty good pickup. But with all these vehicles that are here. I would say it's not the best. If this was in another nation. I would have recommended it. The D9, however, when it's together with the Yak, the VK107, the Yak 3U, the I225, and LA7, I don't see a reason to get this thing instead. Rank 5 here. Again, just get the SU11. I really don't have to pick any other vehicle here. The uh, LA15 is also very good, as well as the MiG-15 BIS, if you want to tell us about either of them. You can't really go wrong with them. These are very similar, but the LA15 is going to be better when it comes to the matchmaker, because it's only 8.0. Rank 6, uh, the Yak-38M, it's pretty decent, but again, all these planes without flares are kind of an L. When you get up tiered, if you don't get up tiered, however, or you don't mind getting, well, occasionally... 
CBT by the matchmaker because of all aspect missiles. Then the MiG-19 PT or the SU-7 if you want to go bring that bombing. If you want to go a little bit more safe, SU-25 is good. But I think if you want to go all the way down to the MiG-29, uh, you're going to be best off with something like the MiG-23 ML. This thing, it's very good, but yeah, no flares, you're going to eat shit. Don't do it. Again, SMT here if you want a talisman, anything in rank 7. And if you want a talisman, anything in rank 8, MiG-29 or the MLD, you can't go wrong with either. MiG-29s are pretty fun to fly, but, you know, getting fully up to in these is a massive L. Great Britain. Uh, this one kind of sucks to grind. Uh, the F4 junk is unironically probably the best thing if you want to get to these ranks. The issue is... Um, you know what happens when you add an N between the U and the K? It says F4 Junk. Very fitting name indeed. It's not very great. And uh, there's also not much really to grind here. So I wouldn't really worry about it. But if you really do want something to grind. Uh, or something to get here. Uh, the Junk is going to be your best bet actually. It's going to be pretty mid. It's going to be pretty boring. And it's going to be very frustrating to fly. But when it comes to easy grinding. Uh, you're probably going to be best off with this thing. Because both of these are extremely painful. And if you want to get anything, get the Sea Vixen. It's mind-numbingly boring. As well as very consistent because you don't have to aim. Red Tops. Pretty alright. If you want to then Talisman any of these, you can Talisman the GR3. Because it actually has Flares and AIM-9Gs. Or the Javelin. And you don't get me wrong. Watch my video on it. It's actually pretty solid right now. And then you can Talisman uh, well, the FGR2. So you are still stuck. With an FGR. And that's why I say just get the F4J junk. Or the F4 junk. Uh, you're going to be flying a Phantom regardless. You might want to get it over with as quickly as possible. If that is the case. Now if you only care about props. You are going to be a lot better off. Because what you can do is get the Wyvern. If the pack goes on sale. 650 kilometers an hour on the deck. It, I really don't need to say anything else. The Hornet is good as well. But I think this thing at 4.0. Is simply too good to let up. 1200 rounds. Air spawn. Stupendously quick. Just be a little bit more disciplined in your playstyle. And you are going to be winning a lot of your games. By simply being too fast for people to handle. Now for rank specific stuff. Rank 1 and 2. There's really not much going on here. I would say get a Typhoon Mark 1A. What you could do is get the uh, Corsair. But I would say just go straight into rank 3. And get the Mustang Mark 1A. Uh, skip this Typhoon. You want to talisman this one if you want to talisman any of these props. Talisman a Typhoon. Or get the Mustang Mark 1A. We reach rank 4 if you want to get anything. Again, Wyvern is very good. Talisman the... Uh, where is it? I'm completely lost. The Hornet. Sea Fury is quite alright. Keep in mind if you are at a disadvantageous position. And something is able to catch you. You're going to eat shit. I made a video on this very recently. It's a good plane the second you are on equal ground. Or have an advantage. The second you are at a disadvantage. It's very hard to squirm your way out of it. The only thing this thing can really do is. Dive out and be fast. Uh, but if you have something like a Yak 3U on your 6. He's going to catch you eventually anyway. If he plays it right. And well you're going to do exactly nothing to it. Other than maybe have one high speed reversal. If you miss it. You're done. These other planes are really not that stellar. There's really not much going on here. I would say get the Hornet Mark 3. The Sea Fury if you are an enjoyer of this kind of plane. If you are something like a 190 player. But I would say wait for the Wyvern S4 to go on sale. Rank 5 here. Sea Vixen. No brainer at all. And if you want to get any of these planes. The Meteors are too slow. The Swift F7 is gimmicky. It's good but very gimmicky. I would say skip all of these. Get the Sea Vixen. And then we reach rank 6. The Scimitar is extremely powerful. But it's not easy to play. I would say get the Javelin or the Harrier GR3. These other planes are all just kind of shitty. And then you reach rank 7. Well you can pick either of these Phantoms. And then you reach rank 8. And just get the F4 Junk. Spare yourself the despair heal. And just make one purchase once it is 50% off. Big thing here. Wait for the 50%. Otherwise you are going to hate yourself. Well you're going to hate yourself anyway flying this thing. But you know. The best I can do is hating yourself a little bit less. We reach Japan. And Japan has quite a few options. Uh, when it comes to high teal. Yeah. I would say just go for the American one. Uh, or maybe the. Uh, uh, what's the other F-14 that's in the game. Or the F-16. I'm sorry. 
Uh, which one? Oh no, this is the last one they added. The F-16 heel is very good. Same with the Chinese one. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a toss-up. Uh, the F-16 for China and the F-16 for uh, Japan are both the best F-16s you will find. This one has a slightly better flight model. And the F-16 for China has slightly more countermeasures. So whatever you prefer, uh, pick accordingly. If you want to get anything here, again, just get the ADTW because you're going to have to fly it anyway. And at least this one is going to be premium. It's going to be a hell of a lot cheaper. You're going to have a hell of a lot more silver lines. And you are going to be needing it. But all in all reality, I would say skip this and get the Chinese one instead. Or the American one. But, you know, I'm just here to... Don't shoot the messenger, basically. Uh, the T2... Yeah, you're going to struggle. All of these rank 6... Sucks absolute balls when it comes to Japan. Uh, rank 7 is okay. I mean, with the matchmaker right now, 11.0 isn't completely dreadful. But, you know, there, it's just, there are better ways to get a F-16. Now, if you really want to get the Japanese F-16, get the camos on it, for example, or want to have the best flight model in the F-16 with the best missiles on it, then, yeah, you are going to have to go with Japan, and you are going to be best off with the ADTW. However, if you don't care about such a thing, there are some other planes that you can pick here if you only care about props, for example. If you only care about props, luckily there are quite a few options here. Uh, talismans here, yeah, it kind of goes without saying. That's the only thing at rank 7 that you can get. So just get this. Rank 6 here sucks absolute balls. Like, do not get me wrong. This is suffering, this is suffering, this is suffering. And this one is suffering as well. This one is half suffering. This one is okay. These guns don't work. These guns don't work. And all of these guns don't work right now either. The Type 5, as well as the naval version, uh, what's the name again? Uh, the whole 115, yeah, uh, 155. Uh, they kind of got shafted, so these planes all kind of suck now. You see, you see why I'm telling you to get this thing? It's not because this plane is good. It's because it sucks less balls than these other versions that you can fly as well. Now, if you only care about props, you are going to be in luck, because you can get the P-51C. Uh, it's going to be one of the best props in the game. BR for BR. And you are going to be able to grind every prop with it. Uh, the second day, fix the cannons on the J2M5. It's a very good pickup. Other than that, all of these planes are kind of shitty. If you want to get the rank 2 and rank 3. And if you don't care about rank 4 props, for example. Or you want to get uh, with a talisman. Uh, I would recommend getting the FU-1A or the 109E7. Both of these planes are absolutely fantastic. The 1A is going to be a little bit more strict. A little bit more fast paced. Boom and zooming. And the E7 you can kind of play like a retard. And you are going to be completely okay. Because the performance of this thing is a little bit more forgiving. It's not going to be as fast. And people are going to be running away from you. But if you are going to be grinding the Japanese nation. You are going to be familiar with people running from you anyway. So... The E7 should be right up your alley. And then you can tell us when one of these vehicles, I would say get the A7M2, for example. Or get the... Uh... No, that's it, actually. Because the Key 43 got its flight model shafted. And then the cannons as well. So, yeah. These are all kind of mid. And then we have... Uh... Well, rank specifics. No. Uh, yeah, basically no. J2M2... I mean, do I have to say anything else? P-51H climb rate up until 5 kilometers at 4.3. With one of the best sustained fight capabilities in the game. In terms of a prop. Yeah, no brainer yet again. Can't go wrong with the key 44s either. Either of these are very good. As well as this one. And this one is the one with the slightly worse engine, I believe. Yes, it is. So just get this one instead. Yes, the 40 millimeters are a little bit... Well, a little bit. They are extremely slow. However, the 50 cals basically hit like 20 mils right now. And they are very good. Can't also go wrong with the A7M2. But I would say get the P51C instead. If you want to tell us about any rank 3s. A7M2. And for rank 4, Ki-84 Co. Just made a video on the Chinese version. Which is basically the same thing. And the Ki-83 is very strong as well. But keep in mind, 6.0 matchmaking. It can be very dreadful. And all these other planes are really not worth it whatsoever when compared to the things you can actually pick. If you like any of these, be my guest. But if you want to get my absolute best picks, then here you have them. We reach China. And uh, the CW21 is very strong still. But, you know, rank 1. Don't waste the premium on it. And then we reach rank 2. Key 44. But if you really want to get anything, get the A5C. The J7D is... Uh, 
very rough. Get the A5C, Talisman, something like the F8E. Or maybe the FJ7E. Uh, it's kind of painful if you get fully up tilt. But it's still one of the best flight performances in the game. Flight performances, flight models in the game. Uh, get the F5E or the J7E. I would recommend the F5E over the J7E because the matchmaker is a lot better. And then you can just grind the uh, Chinese uh, F16 that way. The J7D is a bit of an L. It's a MiG-21 uh, MiG MF with PL5s and Magic 1s. It's not bad. It gets carried by the missiles, but it's extremely mid. It's extremely mid, especially with the bigger maps right now. Ambushing people is a lot more annoying because it just takes longer to reach groups of people. Most of the time you get picked off by radar anyway. If you want to get any all of the props, gear the 4 and you are going to be settled for all of it here. And all the other premiums are basically not worth it. So you either want to get the A5C and then Talisman the F8E. Or get the Kia de Co and be content with all the props. Now go for rank for rank. There's really nothing here except for the key 44. Rank 3, D30. Rank 4, the uh, P38L and the P51K are both pretty good. And these other planes you could skip. Rank 5, uh, J2. It's a MiG-15 bis basically. Rank 6. I would actually say... Uh, which one is it? This one. The Q5A. 9.0. Basically a discount MiG-19 with flares. Yeah. It's very good. But again, uh, you're going to be better off with this thing. Because it has magics. Very easy to grind with. And just... Uh, it's going to be higher BR. Or higher rank. Uh, you're going to be able to grind everything very quickly if you want to do it the, the talisman way just go for j2 to the q5 then get the f5 and then get the mlu we reach italy now, italy is kind of an l starfighter <laughs> it's that easy just get the starfighter but uh, i wouldn't it's not worth it to rush for this one there are better there are other f16s that are more accessible with more fun to play planes. When it comes to the other jets in Italy. The G91Y and the YS. Are pretty mid. The only jet that is really worth it here. Is going to be the 104G. It gets uh, two AIM-9Js. And countermeasures. But. Yeah. Just get this thing. Or. Get this thing. And Talisman one of these. But. This one is going to be more consistent. You get six missiles. With a 20mm Vulcan. And it's pretty damn quick. Full up tiers are still rough. As they always are. But I wouldn't recommend grinding the Italian nation. If you really want get to get the jets. Get the 104S. Because almost all of these planes are suffering. 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 Medium suffering. Extreme suffering. Suffering. Uh, medium. Medium. High suffering. Suffering. It's okay now because all aspect missiles are kind of moved out of the way. But it's still suffering. Suffering, suffering, suffering. Pretty decent. Okay. Same as this. Just just okay. Okay, but kind of suffering. And then you reach the F-16. There are easier to access F-16 with better nations. Or not better nations, just less painful to fly. Now if you want to get props. G2. Just made a video on it as well. Or you could go with this thing and grind out all the other props that are in the Italian nation. Rank 6 here or rank 1 here. Nothing going on. Rank 2. Basically nothing going on. You could go with the uh, C202. And this 202. They are kind of clubbers but they are pretty high BR nowadays. And this thing is absolute dog water. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting any of these. I would say get the Spitfire here. Or the G55S if it goes on sale. But best bet here is going to be the G2. And then once you reach rank 4. What you could do is. Uh, Talisman the, uh, the D30. Same thing as the D28 and the D30 in the Chinese tech tree. But this one is a little bit barren in terms of grinding. The G55 is a decent grinder. But a pretty bad airframe. And the G2 is basically as good as the G55. It turns a little bit worse. But other than that the G2 should be better. And it's a lot lower over BR. You can carry the gun ports. But you know the 109G2 
isn't as good as it once was. So I would say with the most cost-effective way, get the uh, 5B Trop, Talisman the uh, D30, and then you can start grinding over here. I would say get the uh, FD4G in this uh, bracket, and then from rank 6, you should probably Talisman the 104G, and then you can choose one of these. I would personally go with this one because it's a slightly lower BR, but again, I would go to a different nation instead like Japan or China or even USA because there's a lot of vehicles to grind if you buy a single premium over there. We have France and France, I hate saying this, but it's going to be this one. It's the Aramar Mirage F1C200. And why is that? Well, 9.7 supersonic in a Milan with all aspect missiles. Good luck. You can base bomb with it and it's pretty effective at it, but... I mean, you're still going to have to talisman one of these. And your best bet is going to be the Mirage 3E for that then. So if you want to get the, the most brain that way, that is... If you like bombing, if you like rushing bases, Milan, Mirage 3E, Mirage 2000. If you want to actually fight other people, F1C straight to the Mirage 2000. This one is going to be suffering, don't get me wrong. It's not going to be a good plane. But it's going to be better than flying the Milan, any of these. Like, all of these suck. And then all the way up until over here, they all suck. This thing doesn't get countermeasures, for God knows what reason. This one doesn't get countermeasures. Oh, none of these get countermeasures, except for this one, but it only has one gun. So you are forced to go to the Mirage 3E. Which is pretty damn decent right now, because of, well... The matchmaker, you get down here a lot. I make, I'll, I'll make a video on this thing very soon, actually, as well as on this one. But the Mirage 3E, or the F1C again, if you want to get all aspect missiles. But I would say get the Mirage 3E, and then get the Mirage 2000 that way. Now, if you want to get only props, best bet is going to be the Yak 3. You can ask Glitch how much this thing costs when it's not on sale. Uh, but I really don't need to recommend anything else here. The Yak 3 is good enough for the entire prop line for the French I will still do it because I'm uh, nice like that sometimes. But yeah, uh, this all kind of blows. Uh, VG33 is all right. This thing is pretty damn funny. Uh, it's not going to be the best, but it turns very well. It's a bit like the Yak2 cap, but a downgrade of it. Pretty fun to fly. Uh, these are not really worth it. Yak3, yet again, no brainer. And these planes are all kind of mid. Uh, this one is okay. It's pretty decent, I guess. But for a grinder, it's kind of shitty. SB2C, bomber spawn with a good turn rate and 20 millimeters. Pretty funny to fly, but really not that special. F6C from the marketplace is pretty strong. It's uh, the same thing as the P51C or the J26 David. But uh, I would just get one of those. Uh, the French tree has not much to offer when it comes to props. Uh, the Yak tree is the best prop in the French track tree. Funny how that works, huh? F F4U7. Became pretty strong, actually, with the engine buff. It also became a little bit stiffer, and the M3 cannons are not that strong anymore, unfortunately. Don't get the novel. This thing is absolute dog shit. Then we reach rank 5. Yeah. Again, kind of suffering. If you want to get any of these, either get this thing, or get the Urugan or the Barugan. I would say get the... Uh, which one is it? Uh... Yeah, this one I've spayed it. It's for a reason. I forgot the reasoning why, sorry, right now. But they are basically identical. Uh, this thing has something over it. I believe it's one of the... Uh, is it a snap port? What is it? Yeah, it's a snap port. Other than that, these things fly almost identical. The F-84F is absolute trash. The Vauto 2N is pretty funny right now at 8.3 with radar missiles. But keep in mind, the radar missiles aren't that fantastic. And the... Uh, Elevator is bugged still, so it doesn't actually work properly. You only have half of your pool, so pulling pull out game is kind of weak. These two Vautours are kind of L at 9.0. This thing is as well. If you want to fly a Vautour, get this one actually at 8.3. The speed and power is pretty damn strong. Other than that, I would say skip these because well you have to go to the to the yak tree and rank four is okay then you reach rank five but you need to fly one of these and they're all kind of painful and then you have to fly these and they're all kind of painful and then you reach these and they're literally all painful except for the milan but that's only because it's a premium and the e10 dot is quite okay but it kind of fell out of meta uh, so 
again, either this thing or Milan bombing to Mirage 3E. Really not much to say here, it's kind of unfortunate. We reach Sweden and my voice is absolutely killing me. But again, best pick here is going to be the J25XS. And I hate shilling for these rank 6, 7 premiums. I'm not just trying to shill them because they're expensive and I want to make money. Because I tell people very often that just don't buy them until they're on sale. But they're just too good of a value on these minor tech trees. Because this thing is an absolute elder fly right now. And this one is quite okay, but then you need to fly one of these... And draw an L right now. And you still need to fly one of these. And this is an L. Oh no, this is actually quite okay now. Because of the uh, decrease of uh, the matchmaker. These are okay, but this one is shit. This one is super underpowered. And this one is underpowered, but it has Aim9Ls, I guess. Once they add the JA39, which has been confirmed, by the way, for this year. I don't know how the performance is going to be. But then maybe you want to prepare. But really the J35XS is going to be your best bet. Only one cannon. But it has double the ammo. And you have six AIM-9Js. And you have flares. The main issue with the J35 is that... Dodging flares is a massive problem. The second this thing gets countermeasures... It very much benefits the playstyle of the J35. I've been over this countless times. But the J35 with flares... Is a massive upgrade. And this thing is only 0.4 higher than the J25D. And you're still going to have the same matchmaker. Because 10-7 gets almost 9-7 basically every game. So this is going to be your best bet. If you want the top tier Gripen when it comes out. Other than that right now. Uh, there's really nothing much going on here. Until they add it. And if it's bad. Uh, you really have no reason to grind this. If it's good and you want to get it. Or you are a fanboy of it. Not in a negative way. Then J25 is going to be your best bet. Uh, otherwise, uh, this car all kind of blows to get through. Man, my voice is actually fucking dead. I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm gonna try wrapping this up. So you have the J29D here. It's pretty okay. 8.7. Not the best, not the worst. A uh, bit of a medium tier grinder. It's pretty fun, but it's really nothing special. All of these are kind of mid nowadays. Uh, really not much going on. If you really want to talisman any of these. I would say get the uh, SK60 probably. It's slow. It turns quite okay. And on occasion you can bully some props. And um, all of these other planes are kind of mid. If you want to. Yeah this is a hard one actually. This is a very hard one. I would honestly say. Get nothing. Like I can't even recommend any of them in good faith. But I kind of have to in case you go with the G6. Uh, I would say... Mm, I'll make you you make, make up your mind. Because they're all kind of on the same tier. So this is basically a fast prop. It's a worse uh, Yak-15 if you're all familiar with it. This is basically the same thing. It's a little bit faster. It's basically a fast prop as well. Uh, it has 30mm gun pods. It's pretty okay. It has good retention. This thing is pretty turny. The vampire is completely overteared. But it has a pretty damn good engine. Uh, it's hard man. If you want to get any of the vampires get the A28. Uh, this one uh, has the same engine but it has better guns. Sap on a 5 is okay nowadays I guess. It all sucks man. Uh, someone in the comments please help me with the Swedish one. For rank 5. I honestly do not know what to get here. Rank 4, G6, extremely good. G6 Ola as well, if you want to get the non-premium version. If you, for example, buy the Pure Murski, because it's one of the best and most unique planes that you'll find in the Swedish tech tree. And coincidentally, it's also all you need if you only care about props. So if you care only about props, VL Pure Murski, you'll be able to grind out all of this. And if you want to tell us about any of these to go into rank 5, G6 is going to be best bet. Yeah, that's it. Or maybe the T-18. It's a bomber, I know. Uh, but you can fly it like a heavy fighter all day long. Then we reach rank 3. Well, just get the Puro. Like, these talismans are not worth it at all. And this thing is dirt cheap as well. It's probably like 900 GE right now. And how much would this be? A little bit more, but the performance here is just vastly superior. Rank 2. I mean, it's a rank 2. Really not much going on. Morka Moraine is pretty... 
pretty stupid. Uh, but yeah, it's rank 2. It's really not worth getting. And rank 1, I'm not even gonna bother. A Swedish tech tree is kind of annoying to get through. Same with the Israeli one. Uh, Kafir Kanan is gonna be your best bet. I hate to break it to you. This one is okay as a strike fighter, but this one is extremely terrible. And this is just not worth it because, well, all of these planes are in different nations except for this one. But it's just a worse, worse LF Mark 9. Clipped wing, rolls better, loses more speed, turns worse. Why would you? Rank f That's the reason why I have a talisman on basically all these planes. I couldn't stand flying them. NF-13 is good, but it's not fun. Uragon is okay, but been over this with the French 3. It's just not it. Meteor Mark 8 is too slow at 8.0. These planes are all bad. The only plane that is worth getting in rank 6 is the... What? A4N, the Ajit. Ajit. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna summon something flying into a building at this rate. But... Uh, the A4N heal is best bet for rank 6, definitely. The issue is getting to it. Uh, that's why I have all of these talismans. I couldn't bother flying them. Uh, I just ended up buying talismans for all of these. I would have done this if I wasn't a Gaijin partner either. It's just extremely annoying to fly. Uh, these are all kind of mid as well. The Sakin. I mean, really. Uh, the best bet here is going to be Mark 9 Spit. Or this one, premium, if you only care about the props, but it's not worth it if you only care about the props. The only reason you want to get Israel is for the unique vehicles. And that is the only two unique vehicles, or three unique vehicles, that are worth it are the Ajit, the Kafir uh, C7, and maybe something uh, domestic that they will add in the future. But right now, the Kafir C7 and the Ajit are basically only two planes that are really worth it. The Nets... It's just the worst F-16. It's the uh, A model, not the ADF. The A model with only A9Js. And the Kunas is simply a better F-4 EJ Kai. It's an EV F -A yeah. F-4 EJ Kai with the uh, wing slats. So it turns up a bit better, but the camo is worse. So I don't really like it. Huh, I think that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. Do not forget to use the link. It doesn't matter if it's mine or someone else's. Just give yourself a goddamn decal. But if you use mine, thank you for the support. So there you have it. My voice is dead. I'm gonna go to bed because I have to work again tomorrow. I'll make uh, some, some updates here. F5E is in the works. F8F is in the works. And I'm gonna work on the Mirage 2000 and Mirage 3E. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you all in the next one.